Well, I'm here today to talk about an exciting uh, um, effort that we're undertaking with the Kauffman Foundation to establish the Institute for Advancing Medical Innovations. What we're after is, is really to be able to create um, um, an institute unlike any other, which focuses on advancing new novel drugs uh, for the treatment, prevention, control of disease, uh, the creation and development of, um, of, of medical devices, and then also drug device combinations, and doing that in a, in a university setting uh, where really we're, we're, we're taking discoveries from faculty researchers and helping advancing those innovations to, um, uh, to commercialization. And then through that process, training um, uh, graduate students, postdocs, um, uh, and, um, uh, and young faculty uh, on the process to discover and, and develop medical innovations. What we'll do within, within the institute is uh, the process is, is to take, um, uh, to work with a, a principal investigator or a researcher who's made a discovery. And again, that discovery uh, could potentially lead to a new drug or a new medical device um, and, and really help that faculty researcher then advance that, that potential innovation through, um, uh, uh, th through the process. And so what we'll do is uh, we'll team that, that, that inventor up with an industry, uh, an industry expert in project management and then wrap a, a multidisciplinary project team around that innovation, develop a project plan, and then advance that project through a series of commercially focused go-no-go -go decision points, and then hopefully out of the university and, um, and, and, in, and into the, the, the industry who then really has the resources to take that innovation further. With each of the projects that, that will advance through the institute, uh, we'll have project plans in place, and 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 the project planning and the implementation of those of those of those projects and programs um, um, uh, will be developed as as we did in the pharmaceutical industry. So really, with a series through a series of go no go decision points or gates, we'll advance the innovations through through that through that process. And, and we'll do that through um, uh, the, the, those, those projects and the plans will be implemented through uh, multidisciplinary project teams. And those project teams will have experts from, from, from different, uh, different specialties. Uh, we'll also have uh, uh, folks on those teams uh, from outside the University of Kansas and outside the Institute, pharmaceutical industry partners, for example, or, you know, uh, disease-focused foundation societies. And our focus and our measures of success will be advancing projects to go no-go decision points and being able to generate the data to make those decisions. A as you pointed out, um, uh, the more majority of new drugs that are discovered die uh, along, along the way. And um, so that'll be a measure of success for us is, is not only reaching a, 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 go, a go decision, but reaching a no-go decision as well. And just as importantly, we've got to advance projects from one decision point to the next in a time frame that is, that is, um, um, uh, that is financially viable. And uh, uh, the, the time performance-based metrics that we use within the institute and within the university are the same performance metrics that, um, that we use in the pharmaceutical industry. So we're holding ourselves accountable um, just like we did in pharma. What we're really striving to achieve is a new level of, of collaboration. Um, and that's collaboration, uh, and the University of Kansas has several campuses. In our case, it's collaboration across campuses within the university. But it's also collaboration with, with researchers at other academic institutions, um, philanthropic organizations such as the uh, Leukemia Lymphoma Society and Institute for Pediatric Innovation, and then also industry. Um, and, and in order to be successful in the university setting uh, in, in discovering and advancing drug innovations or medical device innovations or drug device combinations, um, you have to, you, you're only going to be successful if, you, if you're successful in, in collaborating. The entrepreneurial spirit 
uh, that we had at Marion Laboratories um, uh, is is something you know, frankly that 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 I've missed the last probably 10, 15 years in pharma. And um, uh, so that's really one aspect of it is I think this institute really brings us back to that that whole entrepreneurial spirit. Um, the second really is that uh, there are incredible innovations and discoveries coming out of universities that really have to be advanced. And uh, a lot of my colleagues and, and a lot of the pharmaceutical companies that we talk to today are, are really looking to the universities for these innovations. And uh, what we're doing is, is perhaps um, playing a bit of kind of the middleman role where we're helping our, our researchers who've made those discoveries advance these projects uh, uh, to a point that we could move them out of the university and into the hands of folks who could take them further. The concepts and the principles that we've brought in to be able to help advance these technologies are the same best practice principles and processes that we had in place uh, in pharma, in Marin Laboratories, Marin Merrill Dow, Herx Marin Russell, et cetera. And so really we've brought those industry best practices into the university. Uh, and we've also brought in um, industry experts, again, going back to Marion Laboratories, Marin Merrill Dow, et cetera. Uh, but we've brought industry folks into the University of Kansas uh, to help us advance these projects. With um, uh, this first pediatric product um, that the Institute has co-developed with the Institute for Pediatric Innovation, Children's Mercy Hospital, Beckloff Associates, we've got our first product that will move into, uh, that will move into development and we hope um, quickly, quickly to market. Um, and so the, uh, the pump's been primed, I guess, so to speak. And um, uh, we're, we're advancing projects through. Um, uh, and, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, we're, we're, we're getting some attention from disease-focused foundation societies, uh, pharmaceutical industry. Um, so the momentum is, the momentum is there.